Hey, good morning. How's it going? As always, Nate Mumford, Director of Sales of Engineering here at RCS. Still in quarantine in Danbury, Connecticut, except now I have 19 inches of snow, just like Barry Hill does as well, who's right next to me. Uh, that is Barry Hill, uh, VP of Customer Success, right? I know there's a lot of kind of different titles here. Customer experience, Nate. Customer experience. My sincere apologies. Um, it's very important. <laughs> and we're here today to uh, to break down some uh, just kind of a conversation about RCS and support and the customer experience and all of that good stuff as well. So, Barry, thank you so much for taking the time to hang out with us. Uh, we always do a little housekeeping, which is my favorite RCS pun um, that we kick off each one of these every Thursday, 11 a.m. Eastern time. Hello, Di. Thank you for making sure those comments are working. Um, and so, yeah, a couple things. Uh, don't forget. Uh, we're looking for beta users, 5.20.1 for Zeta coming out later this month. If you want to be a beta user on that, uh, we did a great video with Martin uh, Blazik, the Zeta product manager from uh, last week. Want to check that out. We also have G Selector uh, 490. Those are the flex clocks, right? The idea is that you can schedule anything down to the minute up to 24 hours a day. So if you have, let's say, a specialty show, and it's a four-hour show. You don't really have to go and schedule four individual one-hour clocks. Now you can schedule one four-hour clock, which is really, really cool as well. So looking for beta users for that. If you're working from home, let us know. Send us your work from home photos. Um, and uh, yes. And then, uh, then of course, we also have, uh, what we're going to talk about today is our field technician services team are out and about as usual, whatever is best for you and your team during uh, covid we're here to help out as well and get your questions in, all of that good stuff um, that's in here as well. So, uh, Barry, let's go ahead and kick it off. Again, if you guys have any questions, feel free to chime in. I have my comments going over here. Yes, Meg. Meg from Support checking in saying, keep calm and run housekeeping. That's our goal here. Kai, how's it going too, Kai? Um, so, Barry, I thought we would uh, kick it off with you and, and introduce if you want and, and kind of go... Uh, I'll let you kind of lead the show a little, well, a little bit. I'll be here to kind of hang out as well. So um, why don't we first well, you want, with... You want me to take over? Is that what you're saying? Yeah, I'm going to just yeah, sign you, off, that's you, okay with you. Yeah, I realize. I mean, we all know you're kind of a slacker, but I mean, <laughs> you know, do you, do you really need me to take over? Yes, I mean. This is the... <laughs> Speaking of taking over, so I, uh, uh, so I was, the joke was, is that I uh, took over Barry's old role. And for years, right. the joke the joke was is that I am the new Barry, so to speak. And I will tell you that That's right. working all the conferences and NAB and all of that good stuff, um, there was only two reactions. Number one, you're not Barry, or B, you're not Barry. And there was nothing in between. Right, right. Thank goodness. Yes. Thank goodness you're not Barry. Or it was like, you'll never be Barry. You will never yeah. be Barry. Well, so, I think it's official now. I am now the old Nate. <laughs> you're 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 no longer the new Barry. I'm I'm the old Nate. That's fair. That's fair. I, I, though I feel like it sounds a little weird saying old Nate, but yes, I. I, I you've taken you've taken the you've taken the crown and you've you've <laughs> ran with it. You, you, you know. Speaking of, it's a little transition. Speaking of crowns, we will in this uh, little video here will reveal our support tech of 2020, which we do every single year, which is which is gonna be awesome. So yes, we have that as well. But first. Um, let's talk about a little bit of, um, you know, the support and all the ways that you can reach out to support and all of that good stuff, Barry. Absolutely. Well, I mean, everybody knows that you can, uh, you know, you can of course call us for the last, you know, 40 plus years. We've, uh, we've answered the phone as, as quickly as possible and helped people out 24 uh, seven, you know, Christmas, New Year's, we've always got somebody on staff. Uh, no, you know, we don't, uh, we don't do the, the, uh, the answering machine and uh, we'll get back to you in a couple hours, uh, kind of thing. Cause we know radio is, is, a uh, is a now uh, medium, and we need to, you know, if somebody's got a problem, they need help right away. Uh, but of course, in in 2021, now, um, you know, we will take your email as well. It, it it's uh, funny that we've been watching the the trends, and uh, you know, we, we still get more calls than emails. But they're they're doing this right. They're they're slowly mm. getting closer and closer. And I think one of these days, you know, we'll we'll actually be doing more emails than phone calls. Absolutely, you know, emails are easy. Yeah, and I and I can tell you from firsthand when I was a PD and uh, you know I used to call Donna all the time. Um, you know, very much it was a depends on the issue, right? If if you're if there's an off air issue or something going on that's time sensitive, yeah, it's probably not the best idea to email and say, you know, I, I I'm off the air. You know, call us well, for that. 
Um, it, email tends to be uh, you know, for those things that aren't aren't uh, you know you're not on fire. <laughs> uh, but but if you are on fire, you you should call. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, that's, absolutely. That's uh, that's the time. Yeah. It, 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 again, it, it, to use that analogy, you wouldn't send an email to the fire department saying my ho- my house is on fire. Can you come? Yeah. Uh, you would you would call. Yeah. So. And uh, just and, in case, just in case somebody you know has another thing going on, or maybe it's in the inbox, or you know, you know, you understand. Yeah, absolutely. And and also too, by the way, when I was a PD, there's sometimes we always have those questions, right? And and I always had kind of a rule personally that if I was going to do something, I would I would take a swing at it, and then if I was getting stuck, I would come back 15 minutes later. And after two attempts, if I didn't know what was going on, after about a half hour, 45 minutes, it's just not worth wasting your time because the reality is. Somebody is going to know what the answer is and just tell you very quickly and tell you the correct answer, right? Not tell you kind of the workaround, but the correct answer. So those are great for emails, you know, like, uh, hey, uh, I'm going to do a two for Tuesday next week. Uh, Remind me, where do I enable that? Or um, what can I do there? You know, and if it's a scheduling thing, we can give you a call back. Or it's if it's a setting just to enable. I mean, I love doing screenshots. I know that Adrian, shout out to Adrian support. Our G selector uh, support manager, he's great at sending, you know, just a screenshot of go here, go here, go here. And then that's all I need as a program director. That's all I need. So it's, it's super, super helpful. Uh, and by the way, speaking of shout outs, uh, Tom, the radio world, Tom, you might have seen Tom in the latest uh, radio world. Uh, he also chimed in as well. And I do play a mean Santa because Barry and I. Big Tom. Yeah, big Tom. We do, we do some. Uh, unfortunately, we couldn't do the holiday party this year, but, you know, it is what it is. Um, let's see. So we got email. I know we 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 didn't we didn't get to see Nate in a wig, I know. which is kind of a kind of a bummer. <laughs> um, there's uh, so we got email. We got calling up as well. Um, the off air stuff. Um, anything else you want to chime in on on that route? Well, just just don't be afraid. Don't be afraid to call us. Don't be afraid to email us. I mean, believe it or not, there are people that I've I've spoken to who have said, "Well, I didn't want to bother you guys," and I'm like, "Bother us." We're, we're the support department, yeah. you know, uh, we're, that's, that's what you pay us for. You pay, you know, people pay for, for support. Don't be afraid to use it. Pick up the phone, send us an email. You know, no, no problem is too small for sure. Even if it's a little, little tweaky thing that's been bugging you, just, just do it. Just give us a ring. It's, it's not an issue. Absolutely. And uh, by the way, some uh, shout outs here. Uh, Jamie, thank you for checking in. Rich, thanks for checking in. And I thought we can use this as a nice transition, Barry. Allie is checking in as well. And, and Allie from, from our, our support department, you know, you might know Allie because I'm going to pull up the, uh, should, I, should I tease the trophy or do you want to talk about the trophy before I show it on yeah, screen? Yeah, absolutely. So, so um, the, I'm sure that, you know, anybody who's, who's contacted support has gotten a survey afterwards, right? We always send out a survey that says, hey, how was your call? Uh, I read every single one of those. Uh, and, and there's a couple other people in the, in the, you know, all the managers read them as well. Everybody gets those. Uh, and we read everything that you say. So if you say, hey, that Nate guy, uh, you know, he really helped me out. Um, oh. That's that's great news to know. But if you also say that Nate guy went too bright, uh, that also helps us out. Yeah. So, <laughs> <laughs> but no, that, no one ever said that about Nate. Uh, but uh, every month we take all these surveys, we tally them up. Uh, all those scores, you know, you give us, you know, one to five, rate this person one to five. What was their technical knowledge? Uh, all that kind of stuff. We tally them up, and the support, uh, the person with the high score, uh, you know, gets uh, gets a the a, a small uh, cash prize from from RCS, a little bonus, uh, and they also get the you know the fame uh, and the uh, right. the crown of being uh, crowned the agent of the month. Mm-hmm. Uh, so we do that obviously, you know, every month, and then at the end of the year. Uh, we do another report for the whole year from January to, to December, and we find out who the support agent of the year is, the person that had the highest scores consistently uh, throughout all of 2020. And uh, they, of course, also get, you know, they also get a, uh, you know, a little, little bonus from the company. And, and, uh, but the most important thing is they get their name on the golden phone. And which, uh, I'll, which I'll is displayed which, right now, Barry, just so you know. There it is, the golden is phone. A, this is a trophy that we uh, we have here at the company. This is an old photo. Sorry, I haven't. Uh, it's it has been updated since 2018. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, but uh, we uh, you know you get your name on there and and uh, prominently displayed uh, at RCS World headquarters. And you'll notice you may notice a name on there. Allie. 
No. <laughs> well, Allie, of course, but there's another name on there. Uh, Nate, Nate Munford is one of the previous recipients of the Agent of the Year Award. As well as Jason, too. we got to give Jason a shout-out as well. That's right. That's yeah. right. So, yeah. yes, uh, well, I've got the uh, – might as well want to do it now? I mean, we might as well do it now. That's the, the jump – Right. I know the whole support department is 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 watching because yeah. uh, you, every, you said, everybody you sent that email that said if you don't watch and, and give kudos because we had a <laughs> a little behind the scenes fun you know obviously we track all of these metrics and all that good stuff and so uh, Nate likes to stir the pot a little bit and purposely sends out some emails to the VPs letting them know exactly who got what hits and how many and so uh, Barry definitely tried to rally the troops so he can go and have uh, the highest rated video here of our RCS live so no pressure yeah. Barry. No, no pressure whatsoever. <laughs> so, so yeah, so we I have the results here. Uh, this would be the 2020 <laughs> agent agent of the year at RCS. No pressure, for the, Steve Harvey. The, the, the tech support agent that had the most, the high scores consistently, and the winner is Phil, Phil Newmark. Hey, Phil congrats, and Phil. Well, and Phil, this is the second year in a row. So Phil is a two-time, two-time winner. He he's got a streak going on now. So, and, and by the way, I'll go back here because we didn't give Stan proper kudos as well. Uh, Stan won two years in a row, and so Phil's got two years in a row as well. So, so now you know the all-time record is tied two and two. No one's ever gotten three. So we'll uh, uh, we'll see. But congratulations, um, anybody who's called uh, tech support for. Or any of our automation products, Next Gen or Zeta, has uh, has spoken to Phil, I'm sure. Um, and there's there's really no surprise that uh, that he won. He's he's fantastic on the phone. He's just a friendly, personal guy. Great bedside manner. Has always got your back. Going to help you out. So I was well just, deserved. I was just Phil. singing his praises just yesterday. Actually, that's great. Yeah, we got, yeah. We got everybody's uh, uh, Bartek. Thanks for checking in as well. Yay for Phil. Yes, we're all giving Phil kudos here on as well. It's great. So. Phil, congratulations. That's so cool. Um, that is cool. And we have And the, then uh, we also have yes. you know because we I figure as long as we're here. But, yeah, but uh, you know, we we also do the monthly the monthly winner and I have the winner for January so we can find out who the who the agent of the month is for January 2021. It's award season here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wait, am I supposed to do the thing like uh Yeah, yes, yes. In the old days? And the winner of January 2021 is Sarah. Sarah. Oh, this is awesome. Congratulations. Sarah Diaz. Uh, Sarah, of course, is is a, oh, my gosh, 20-year employee at least. No, she's she's only 23 years old. That's what you meant to say. (laughs) Exactly, exactly. That's for you. But uh, Sarah (laughs) handles the lion's share of all of our Spanish language support. Uh, being bilingual, of course, but she she uh, she works both sides of the of the language fence. Uh, but uh, she, of course, has been here for for a long time on our scheduling team, handling G Selector, uh, Selector uh, Selector Twelve, you know, Selector Classic, all those all programs. Stuff, yeah. So she knows how to do it in two languages. So how to program a station? That's so great. Um, that's so awesome. Congratulations, Sarah, and also Matt. Thank you for checking in as well. Um, that is awesome. Great. That's so cool. Um, I'm trying to think what else we wanted to talk about here. I was trying to. I got distracted. Well, you wanted to talk about FTS and um, yeah, our. Thank you. you know, FTS stands for Field Technical Services. Uh, these are our installers, right? These are the guys who who come on site when you've got a new system or maybe you need some training. Uh, and of course, during the COVID times, um, things kind of um, you know settled down for a while. Nobody was nobody was traveling. Nobody wanted us to travel. Um, but now uh, now that things have kind of reached a, a a plateau of sorts in the COVID world. Uh, we are starting to get requests for uh, on-site installations. Um, you know, if, if it's a large install and you're you're changing automation systems or you're doing an upgrade, um, you're, there's really no. Um, there, there, you really need that person on site. You need the hands-on uh, of a professional tech to help you get everything going. And our team is traveling. Um, they're all uh, checked out and uh, and ready to go. Um, everybody, of course, very cautious. Uh, all of our techs travel with, um, you know, with all the, all the accoutrement you'd have to have today, from the, you know, the hand sanitizer to the masks to the mm-hmm. to the gloves to everything. Uh, you know, so we're very very cautious, uh, and um, they uh, they will come if you need them. If you, they will come and do training and and whatnot. Of course, you know, we'd have to respect all the COVID rules and laws with uh, social distancing and masks and whatnot. But 
but uh, we, it's, we it's will again, come to you. Yeah, it's about what you're comfortable with your team as well. So just so you know, you know, we try to, you know, be on site as best we can. But if you feel like, you know, we have a lot of colleges, and universities as well who have kind of short staffed and we'll work with you and your staff to make sure everybody, A, is comfortable, B, safe, and C, we get you taken care of as well. So that's definitely excellent. Fun. Excellent. So, oh, oh, speaking of Phil, Phil yeah. Newmark, I do, um, I don't know if I've still got it here. I was going to say. <laughs> Go ahead. I'm going to stall for time. Do you, no, I, you do? I just need to grab something here because I'm going to send this to Phil, <laughs> and I hope that he's going to take a he's going to take a photo of himself since he is the since he is the agent of the uh, of the year. We've gotten him his oh. his own his own crown that he will wear, and we'll get him to take a picture uh, with his that is with his crown receiving his award. Wow, so, I it, <laughs> this is solid gold, by the way. I give you about an actual crown. That's great. Um, we spent we spent a lot of money on this. <laughs> I'm gen- I'm gen- I don't know what to say. I'm genuinely like, that's awesome. That's pretty funny. Um, that is great. So uh, so let's see here. I'm just going to check through the chat. If anyone has any questions here, I do have the chat open for if you have any questions for Barry at all. Um, so Matt, if anything at all, Jamie, any questions, let us know. Um, but yeah, we thought it'd be fun to kind of mix it up today and talk, you know, a little bit, uh, just some, some fun, you know, as I said, Barry here talking about support and, and FTS and give away our uh, support tech of the year for 2022. So it's uh, great to have you here, Barry. Anything else you wanted to, um, we're trying to make this a quick phone call today, but anything else you wanted to add at all? Any kind of fun Well, thing? I just wanted to say, yeah, I just wanted to make sure everybody knows how to get in touch with me. Um, you know, I do run the support departments for, for all the RCS companies. That includes our sister companies, Media Monitors and Media Base. Uh, and also test all media. Uh, if if you ever have a um, an issue, um, maybe things aren't working out to your satisfaction. Um, you want to you know you want to call and complain to somebody, or you want to call and, and and do the opposite. You want to give somebody kudos for a fantastic uh, uh, experience. You can always reach out to me. Uh, my email is really easy to remember. It's just Barry B A R R Y Barry at rcsworks.com. Uh, and you know, you've got a direct line to to myself, and and we'll make sure that uh, you know whatever your your uh, issue is, we'll get it taken care of. And let's uh, also, by the way, um, let's talk about some of those RCS products, those sister products we have, because I know that you know we understand it, but you know sometimes you might not realize, uh, especially if you're a G selector. You know, if you go to the interface tab, you can see there's uh, critical mass media, media monitors, and all of that. And so you're, we get a mm-hmm. lot of questions like, oh, what are those things? And do you want to quickly kind of touch base on some of the other products that we have? Sure, absolutely. So, uh, MediaMonitors.com is is uh, one of our uh, one of our sister companies here at RCS, and they track um, they they track the, the major market uh, spot and music play on uh, you know the highest rated stations in the uh, the top markets in the United States. Basically, we have listening little uh, computerized listening stations in those towns uh, that automatically uh, fingerprints uh, the commercials and the music. And then tallies that up. So uh, if you want to know, if, you, if you're a subscriber and you want to know uh, what spots are playing on my competition that aren't playing on my station, mm-hmm. like, you know, who, who bought the competition but didn't buy me, uh, you can find that out now. Uh, you can find out. You can, you can do a, a comparison. And that's just a, the very beginning of, of diving into media monitors. They do the same things for music. I remember, you know, back when I was uh, – back in the old days when I was in radio <laughs> – yeah, if you wanted to know what your competition played on the air, you had to, you know, uh, pay somebody to sit in a hotel room with a radio, and they'd write down every song that played. You know, uh, it, Media Monitors does that for you automatically, so you don't have to, you don't have to, uh, to do that like we used to do back in the, back in the day, back yeah. in the ancient times. And by the way, there's some uh, videos but, we do have uh, in our, our, I think I think they're tied to RCS, if I'm not mistaken. So there's some videos in there. If you go to our RCS page, you'll see there's some great tools. Um, we, we discussed about how to, you know, um, you know, for football season or, or, you know, when sporting, uh, sporting season comes around, let's say baseball right now, you want to go and create a package. You can see, you know, who bought, you know, the baseball package last year, who was advertising. You can also go up some other aspects as well. It's a really, really cool resource uh, to check out. So we got, we do have some videos on that too, just so you know. Um, so that's media cool thing. Go ahead. No, yep, the sorry. coolest thing about media monitors, just wanted to quickly mention, is that it does interface, like you said, it does interface with G Selector, and what that allows you to do, uh, because media monitors is uh, also tied in with the people meters, so they know who's listening at what time, 
And then with G-Selector, they know what plate at what time. So you can actually do a trend uh, in media monitors mm-hmm. and look at your music and say, show me the songs that have the highest retention, meaning that when I play this song, people don't leave. Or the opposite, show me the songs that, have the, that, that don't have the highest retention, the songs that have the highest rejection. Every time we play this song, there's more tune out. So you can actually find out which songs are burning, which songs are not, which songs people like, which ones they don't. Because every time I play this song, you know, we get, uh, you know, half our audience leaves. Well, they must not like that song. So uh, there's some very valuable data with media monitors. The other product that we have is MediaBase, MediaBase.com. Uh, MediaBase is, the, is the, the record side, the charting side uh, of the business. Um, so that's, uh, that's, they determine who's number one, you know, the, the record companies are all there. That's where you do your ads and, and, and whatnot. So if you're trying to figure out, uh, uh, what you're for music day, what songs you're going to add, what songs you're going to drop, um, you know, MIDI base has all of that information. That's where all the charting happens with the record companies. Yeah. And that's what I used to use as a programmer it was a great tool kind of identifying both charts, but also what kind of tone you're looking for and seeing similar stations and all of that. It's a really great resource. Uh, and I know that we have the version two, right? That came out as well. And so, yes, yeah. So this is all brand new, looks fantastic, and all that good stuff too. So yeah, so uh, exactly. Media monitors, media base. Uh, and then we also have a couple like uh, what else do we have? There's test all media. We have test all test all media, which is uh, music testing, where you can uh, have people you know listen to to uh, hooks of songs and say, I love that song, I hate that song, uh, from your own audience, so that you can you know find out again it, it's very similar to it's like the electronic version of the old days when you used to do call out mm-hmm. research and you would call and play clips of songs over the phone it's all all done on your uh, on your on your smartphone now absolutely and uh and by the way uh joe and carl thanks for checking in if you guys have any questions last minute questions here for barry vp of customer success or sorry customer experience i keep i keep butch i'm sorry i keep butchering that but it's it's, it's a, a weird let's face it it's a it's a weird title the vp of customers we'll just call it that way Customer um, experience, that's right. <laughs> but yeah, if Joe or Carl have any questions, let me know. Uh, let us know. We're here to help out, too. So, uh, And then the we had Testall Media and uh, Critical Mass Media, very similar as well for research scores, right? Yep, exactly, yep. exactly. And all those things, by the way, if you have any questions on those products, if you're ever curious, again, email Barry, myself. You can talk to support. We'll be here to help you out and point you in the right direction and all that good stuff. And as Barry said, they are integrated with G Selector, too. So if you wanted to import those research scores, and by the way, you could schedule with those research scores. Cough, cough, you know what I'm saying? Um, it's a great tool. Well, exactly. You know, and that's why you do research, right? So that mm-hmm. you can play the songs people like more and play the songs people don't like less. Yeah. And so when you have that information, G Selector can do that for you automatically. You don't have to go in and change your rotations. When those scores come in, all of those songs automa- can automatically adjust if you wish. Yeah. And, and by the way, uh, Glenn, thank you for checking in from the UK. Hi, Glenn. Um, and so, yeah, the, if, I always like to give tips and tricks here, right? The idea is that we kind of start about a topic and we, you know, we're all radio people. So at some point in time, this morning show goes off the rails and we talk about something else. But for tips and tricks, uh, how's that for, say, for G Selector using all those research scores? It's, again, the interface. You can connect there. You see there's a little login page, uh, a little login icon, rather, uh, at each one of those tabs. And the idea is that under the setup and research, you create this attribute, right? What is that attribute? It could be something as simple as, let's say, a number range. Um, I'll use to keep it very simple. I'll use the traditional old school, uh, you know, high school scoring system. 65 and above is pass. 65 below is fail. You have kind of, you know, a a D, C, B, A type of ranking system. Um, You can do that. And the attribute could be like, you know, A, B, C, D. And then what happens is when that number of value fits into that defined attribute, we assign it that, you know, attribute and we, of course, schedule based on that attribute in your priority list as well. So it could be a goal that you spread across all of them, or it can be a rule that, let's say, or a segue ban, like, you know, don't play two Ds back-to-back, that type of thing. Um, they're all in there, and the world is your oyster. It's really, really cool, and that could be defined by uh, the setup and research. Uh, you have the columns in the attributes. You think of it as, again, kind of category, category group and categories, right? You have category groups. And then you have categories inside of them that rotate. So using that example, if you have, let's say, I always say for a classic hit station, a 1970s category, you want position six to always be a 1970s record, but you want it to be either a power record or a 70s secondary record or a 70s filler record. The category group would be 1970s, 
the category would be 70s power, 70s secondary, 70s filler. Same exact rules apply with the columns and the attributes. So the research columns would be kind of the category groups, and the uh, research attributes would be the categories, if you will. And of course, as always, if you have any questions, don't forget the F1 help guide, super helpful, dynamic, and you can always call or email out to support. How's that for a, exactly. for a bookend? That was, that, <laughs> you, I don't think you took a breath. That was, uh, <laughs> that was highly impressive there, there Nate. Uh, you know, what's really interesting to me is that, you know, a lot of the, um, the rules, the rules in radio that have been around for decades, uh, now that we have the tools such as media monitors and G-Selector, we're finding that a lot of those rules um, don't make sense. For example, you know, again, when I started in radio, there was a hard and fast rule that you never played two female artists back to back. Somebody made this rule up. We don't know who. Some radio guy, some consultant years ago said, no, we never do that. And it just became a thing, right? Everybody just did it. And there was no way to prove it or wrong, you know, right or wrong. Uh, but now there is. Now with media monitors, you can actually see, and we have, we have found, that, that, that that's, uh, that's not, not a thing. Yeah, <laughs> it's it's not, not a thing. It doesn't matter. It does not matter if you play two females back to back. But again, it was, it, 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 media monitors has been instrumental in shattering some of those myths. Uh, another myth was that, um, nobody listens to the ball game on the way home from the ball game. Mm. Um, that was something that was just an assumption. Like after the ball game's over, ratings drop to zero, right? The game's over, nobody's listening. Uh, that, that was the assumption. Commercials after the game were always cheap because nobody's listening after yeah. the game. Well, with media monitors, uh, our president, uh, Philippe Generali, did a, a, a whole presentation on this. He was able to find out that, that that's absolutely not true, that there's actually more listening after the game than during the game itself. Uh, that people, you know, they want to hear that post-game uh, wrap-up. Mm. Maybe they're in the, maybe they're, you're watching you know, the game before and driving home. Oh, well, before COVID, they're driving home from the game, but, well, but, uh, but, or maybe after, like yeah, you say, it. after TV, uh, you know, after watching the game on TV or listening to the game mm. on the radio. Um, but again, it's just the, the point is that media monitors and and uh, and all the RCS products have kind of been instrumental in pulling back the curtain on some of these these uh, rules that yeah. have just always been there for 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 decades, and we're finding out that uh, the reality is 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 quite different. And, and by the way, fascinating podcasts that we have we just did a big uh, research project on podcasts, uh, analyzing all this podcast stuff. There is some really interesting information regarding uh, media monitors and podcasting as well. So just throwing that out there. That's right. That's right. Media monitors is now tracking the commercials and the live mentions within podcasts as well. So uh, because that's just another, you know, competitor. And again, you want to know, is somebody advertising on the podcast that's not advertising on my station? Um, there's a way to find out with, yep. uh, with media monitors. You need to know what mattress to buy, right? <laughs> 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 All right. I'll do last call for questions here. Let me take a look here. Uh, Santosh, hello from India, Santosh. Hope I'm saying that correctly. If I'm not, I apologize. Uh, Rob is checking in. Up the way, Rob from support checking in. Hey, Rob. Brian also hey, checking Rob. in. Uh, it looks like Brian got Brian. Brian and Rob got the memo that we're like, you must tune in. Um, thanks, guys. Yeah, thanks. And, and we'll do. Uh, let's see here. I think we're good for questions. There. Any last things you want to mention? If we forget anybody from support, uh, to shout out everybody because I know we want to kind of. Get your name. There's a lot of people. Head. You know, we do have a we have a large staff, I, um, and I know I'd forget a name, so I'm not going to run down the list. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so, some, that one person would be like, "Hey, yeah, so you forgot me." Sorry if it didn't pop up. Our apologies. But I'm not going to forget this guy, <laughs> Phil Newmark. <laughs> Phil Newmark, the 2020 uh, RCS Support Agent of the Year. That's awesome. Congratulations, Phil. Well deserved. And his and his, and his, his crown. crown. Phil and his crown. I love it. Solid um, gold. Solid gold. That's right. True gold. Uh, also, don't, don't, we don't have to say where Phil is so you can rob him. Don't do that. Um, <laughs> all right. I'll leave it on this. Hey, Britt just checked in as well. Um, thank you so much, Barry, for the time. I really appreciate it. Of course, the big thing you want to take away from here is that we are here to help, right? That's why we do these RCS lives every week. It's why we have email, call, 24 7 support. We say we follow the sun. And the idea is there is that, you know, you can have, Obviously, if it's 3 o'clock in the morning and you have a question about twofers, we might save that for like 9 a.m. But if you have an off-air, any kind of severe issue, we are here to help you out. 
Our support staff is great uh, and all of that good stuff. So, yeah, definitely don't hesitate to reach out to support. We are here to help. And, uh, Barry, thank you so much for, for taking the time to hang out with us. Uh, as always, we have these videos on our archive, rcsworks.com slash rcs-live. Uh, usually I do a write-up on Fridays reviewing the video that's available on our blog section. So rcsworks.com, click on the little right-hand side. You'll see there's a blog, and you can go and uh, read all about this because obviously we have lots of videos here, and I don't want you, you know, we talk for 30 minutes right now. I, I feel like if there's a certain topic you want to see if it pertains to you, I want to give you a write-up to make sure that that's what we're talking about, what you want to know. And if not, I can always point you in the right direction for a certain video too. So. Uh, again, Barry, thank it, you it, so much. It also much. would, uh, wouldn't, uh, I must mention uh, real quick that, uh, you know, all of our products have remote capabilities. We have Zeta to go. We have Selector to go. Um, so, you know, people, uh, I'm sure many people are already working from home and, and doing that now. But, but there, you, you may be in a situation at your radio station where you think, oh, you know, we, I really need to be able to voice track, have my guys voice track from their, their home that studio. Audio, track, but okay. I don't know how to do it. I don't know how to do that. I don't know. How am I going to do this? Um, you know, give our sales department a call. Talk to them about Zeta. Talk to them about Zeta to go. Um, it, has, it has really changed radio. I'd say just yeah. just as oh, COVID absolutely. has changed radio, so has uh, so has our remote voice tracking capability and our remote scheduling capability for for a G selector as well. Yeah. I always joke because if when I was a PD, if I had Zeta to go, it would be a game changer. And ironically, and ironically enough, I moved down the street from my old radio station. <laughs> you would have you would have never left the couch. No, <laughs> I got a cover. Don't worry he, about it. He only left the couch just to come for this video. He's going right back <laughs> after this right is back. over. Yeah. That's not true. I did do a teaser yesterday in the snow, for the record. So I did do that. I try to find unique ways to tease these RCS lives. So uh, as always, we'll, hear, uh, we'll be here next Thursday, 11 a.m. Eastern time. We'll have more events for you to talk about different topics. And then we got some uh, split news talk stations for Zeta coming down the pipeline. Um, and as Britt put it as well, um, Oh, Glenn was asking. My name is Nate, Glenn. Just know we have Glenn was checking in last minute, too. But as as Britt put it, you know, uh, thank you for these. They're great. And that's the idea. And congratulations to Phil for support tech of the year. Well, well, well deserved. So we'll sign off for now. See you next Thursday, 11 a.m. Eastern time, RCS Live. Have a great one. Bye, bye everybody. I'm going to click my mouse again. There you go. Now you can say goodbye, everybody. <laughs>